Now, if you come from the UK, uh, you know how big the farms are over there. They're you know, sort of reasonably small. The flocks of sheep aren't particularly big. Uh, here, I will think there are 20,000 sheep. So, you know, it's a substantial sort of size flock. And to be able to work those sort of sheep on this sort of country, you need dogs with stamina, and speed, and strength. Come behind. Come behind. Come behind. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Sit down. Sit. Here. When you're working with a team of dogs and you've got six, seven dogs, you've got a job in your mind that needs to be done, it's important that the dog that you want to go is the one that goes and the whole lot don't go flying away and leading you to it. So you call the name first and then immediately you call the dog's name, it knows that it's the one that's going to do the job. And what he's going to be doing is going to have a look around those trees, find what's up there and get it back to me. Oh, wow. Man, he knows his job. He knows his job. That's what he got out of too. But his, job, but his job is not just to bring, me to bring the sheep in, it's to bring them to me. But I'm just going to stop him out here for a minute. So that means just stop and wait. And he's just sat out there waiting to see what's going to happen. Boom. 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 Well, they've like got a bit of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> They're just not too sure what to do. Uh -huh. Got to leave me. Got to leave. Sit down. Okay. Talk about being caught being caught between a rock and a hard place. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Give that sheep a nervous breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> but the difference, of course, this one here is the boisterous, noisy one. <coughs> And this is the steady gathering one. And that's really what we're looking for. Okay. When we're gathering, because we want calm. Now you'll see that he's focused totally on these sheep. His eyes are heaven left them. Okay, stay there. Walk up. Walk up. Walker. Sit. Yet I can talk to him. He responds, even though he's watching me. Here. And I'm talking to you at the same time. <coughs> and he can just differentiate from the tone of my voice when I'm talking to him or when I'm talking to you. Hello, King. Hello, go. Hello, go, King. Hello, King. Hello. Hello. Boom. That'll do, boo. That'll do. One to go. Come behind. That'll do. That'll do. Got him going. One to go. One to go. He liked that job. One to go. Have you got any big sheep in here tonight? that they're stupid. They are not stupid, they are just very, very passive, very uh, quite placid animals. Their form of defense is to run from danger. They've got no other form of defense. They won't kick. They sometimes butt at the dogs if they've got young lambs. But that's the only time they do. The rest of the time they just run away from them. When they can't run anywhere, this is the way they react. <laughs> They just sort of get the socks and they just sit and accept their fate. Right. I'm going to try this bit of what I'm going to need for a start. Put it to one side because it's a little bit shorter. 
little bit dirty, I'm going to make it free fall. So you don't want to get it mixed up. Around the rust, the tail. Get it tidy up around there. Take that away, leave it stay. Then once we've got that underneath the gun, we can start on the main body of the seat. On the back there. Get it tidy Any wall comes off the head next. Just put it up, put it back side, and one up the neck. Now we're going to put the other side, and one the other side, and one the other Well, I have to go back and check you out. Now, this one we do is up the wall between the two. The legs have Right down to that point. And then, put them around so you can see what's happening. Down this side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh,